Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the nitrogen set by Mel Chemistry, we will make an ammonia fountain in a flask. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the ammonia fountain experiment, you will need the indicator thymol blue, the solution of sodium hydrogen sulfate, calcium oxide, ammonium chloride, a plastic bottle, two plastic tubes, and one one milliliter syringe without a needle. From your starter kit, take the plastic stopper with one hole, the flask, and the beaker. You will also need some water in a disposable cup. Pour a whole bottle of calcium oxide into the plastic test tube. Then add all of the ammonium chloride. Now put the test tube into the beaker. Using a syringe, measure 0.5 milliliters of water and add it to the test tube. Cover the test tube with the flask and wait for approximately 5 minutes until the mixture stops bubbling. It is in the test tube that calcium oxide reacts with water, forming calcium hydroxide and heat. The calcium hydroxide then reacts with the ammonium chloride. This results in the formation of ammonia, which accumulates in the flask. Take a disposable cup and add 10 drops of sodium hydrogen sulfate solution to it, and then add 10 drops of thymol blue solution. Fill the cup to the top with tap water. The color of the solution is now orange, indicating that it is an acidic solution. Thymol blue is a pH indicator where orange indicates an acidic solution and blue a basic solution. Take the rubber stopper and the two plastic tubes. Put the tube with the narrow end in the hole on the smaller side of the stopper and the ordinary straight tube on the wide side of the stopper. Dip the narrow end of the tube into the solution in the cup. Quickly insert the narrow end into the flask and tightly close the flask with the stopper. Dip the wide end of the plastic tube into the solution in the cup. Hold the flask firmly. Watch and wait for two minutes. Ammonia dissolves in water very well. Therefore, one small drop of the water-based solution in the narrow end of the plastic tube is enough to dissolve most of the ammonia gas that accumulated in the flask in the first part of the experiment. As the ammonia dissolves in the water, the pressure inside the flask decreases, allowing the water solution in the cup to be drawn into the flask, creating a fountain. The color change of the solution from orange to blue indicates a basic condition in the flask, which is the case when ammonia dissolves in water. To dispose of the reaction mixture, fill the test tube with water. This experiment is a bit of a challenge and might seem somewhat complicated. If you have any difficulties with it, try to perform the experiment using the instructions that we have sent you via email. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.